Today I'm reviewing Terry Pratchett's A Stroke of the Pen, The Lost Stories. I really love this uh, collection. It's great. If you like Terry Pratchett, I think you're going to love it also. These are the early writings before Discworld, although Discworld does get a mention in there. Um, more pork makes its way in, into, the, into one part of one story. Um, in any case, um, y y you can see the Terry Pratchett that's going to come, <laughs> coming from this. It's just wonderful stuff. And uh, I, there, I can't really pick a favorite, although I will kind of pick a favorite. Um, I especially loved how Scrooge saw the spectral light, ho, 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 and went happily back to Humbug. Um, yes, Scrooge uh, does a little turnaround, yeah, the little turnaround that he did at the end of, um, at the end of A Christmas Carol comes back to bite him on the ass, so to speak, or bite everyone on the ass, maybe. He's so benevolent. He ends up uh, forming a big, one big company called Uniscrooge. Any thoughts on that? Any similarities to anybody you can think of? No, no, of course not. Um, yeah, great. The great satirist is coming out here, and it's it's wonderful. Just, but wonderful fantasy. Yeah. It's fantasy, right? None of this is real. Okay. I love Terry Pratchett. And um, we were just so lucky to have him in the world. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Oh, and the foreword is by Neil Gaiman. Yay, Neil Gaiman. That's it. Haven't they killed you yet? Sorry. Must have been thinking of someone else. It is so wild, darling. It will end in tears. All the best parties do. Oh,